Okay, so we've pretty much done the form now, but I do want to address this button because at the minute it's quite cack. It doesn't look great and I'd like to create my own custom button component which we can customize a little bit more because we can't add a style prop to this default button component that comes with React. So let me get rid of that form and I'm going to go into the shared folder and create a new file called the button.js. So that in here, first of all, we need to import a few things. I'm going to paste those in. Uh, the first one is React right here, import React from React. The second one is the style sheet, touchable opacity, which we'll use because we need an on-press handler for this button and we're not using the default button component. So we need this for the on-press. Then we have a text component and a view component. So let's now create the button component. I'm going to say export default and it's a function and we're going to call this flat button because this is going to be a flat button. So let's now first of all correct this. So default, not defatle, default like so. And inside here we need to return some JSX and the first thing we're going to do is a touchable opacity components. We'll come back to the on press handler later on. Then we need a view inside that. And I'm actually going to give this a style now. We'll come back to the styles later on down here when we create the style sheet. But it's going to be styles.button. And then inside the view, we need some text. And we'll do a text component for that. And I don't want to hard code what's here inside the text. Instead, I want to be able to take it in as a prop so that it shows here. So let me destructure up here. We've not passed anything into the button yet, but we will do in the future. And we'll pass in a, not test, a text value. So we're going to output that right here inside the text component. And we also want a style for this component. That will be styles dot. And I've just figured out the reason. Whenever I type styles here, it auto corrects to style sheet, which is a bit annoying. I think it's probably because I've not yet created the styles constant down here. Still, it is annoying. So I'm going to change that back to styles. And this is going to be called button text. Okay, so we have this component pretty much done. We need to add on an on press handler right here and that's going to be equal to some function again we're going to pass that function into the flat button because not every press on every button is going to be reacting the same way so let's instead pass the function in here and we'll call it on press and pass it into this touchable opacity so that's pretty much done we just need to do the styles down here so const styles is equal to style sheets and we say dot create Inside we need to do a rule for the button so button first of all and then the button will have a border radius And that is going to be about eight pixels. It's also going to have padding vertical And that is going to be about 14 pixels. We need a padding horizontal and That is going to be about 10 pixels and then finally we need a background color Which is going to be a hex code. I've already found and that is f01 d71 okay so we'll see what that looks like in a minute i think it was like a pink color so now we've done the button let's move on to the next one which is the button text so this stuff right here and that is an object inside we want to first of all color the text white and the next thing we want is a font weight of bold and after that, we'll do a text transform and make sure it's all uppercase. And then we'll do a font size of about 16 pixels. And then finally, text align to the center. OK, so this should hopefully look pretty good. So we've created this component now and we need to pass in a text prop and also an on press function as a prop as well. So what do we want to happen when we click this thing? So all we need to do now is render this flat button. We've exported it. So let's go and import it inside review form. First of all, we'll do that down here. We'll import flat button from and then we come out of the current directory. So dot dot forward slash then into shared and then we want to grab the button 
file. Okay, so we have the component. Now we can render it instead of this thing here. So let's delete that. In fact, we'll take this thing right here because we're going to pass that as a prop to our flat button. So let's replace this with flat button like so. We'll pass in a text prop and that is going to be submit and then we pass in the on press prop as well. They're the two props that we receive in the flat button component. So we're passing in this function and this text. And now if we cross our fingers, press save and let it reload, hopefully we should see that new button appear like magic. So let's go here and okay, that looks a bit better. Yeah, we're not gonna win any design awards for this, but it looks better than the one I had before, I think. You can probably improve on this and I encourage you to do so. But still, let's make sure everything works. So review title, test the roo, the review body, testing one, two, three, four, and the rating is gonna be two. Submit that and everything still works awesome. So there we go, we've created now pretty much the whole app. Everything is all working, all right? So there are just a couple of finishing touches I wanna do for completion's sake, and we'll tackle those in the very final video, which is coming next.